every year is a little different. But now, obviously, since we we've went a little later, granted, we started later too. But this pandemic's been kind of, uh, I mean, it's this pandemic has is, is played a big role, even even psychologically, is what I'm getting at. Uh, we're giving the guys um, a week off for sure, maybe two weeks. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm talking with our captains at the end of the week. I we had a, we had a we had a meeting yesterday, and I actually I actually asked them, do you want one week off or two weeks off? Because it goes both ways. What typically happens when I give the guys two weeks off is that it's it's within three days you'll start seeing guys in the weight room. They're either on the bike or they're lifting. They they got they have to get back in their routine. As much as they need a break, and we all need a break, boredom sets in quick. Boredom sets in quick, and these guys they're used to having a routine and they want the routine back. So um, the guys will let me know as far as you know if, if we're if we're going to take one week off or two weeks off near the end of the week and. Um, even if we take two weeks off, I guarantee we'll see every player in this building working out in, in, in that two week span, which is all right. Uh, but sometimes getting away from structure is healthy too. So um, our leadership group will, will figure that one out and they'll get back to me, but we got this week off for sure. I'm really proud of this team, Austin, and what they accomplished. This was a tough year for everybody. So when I, when I, when I, I, I always speak in the context of Bemidji state, but when you, when you look, I'm talking every, every sports program, Every collegiate sports program in this country, what they've had to go through this year, you, I don't think I, I don't think people realize it. I mean, I just I, I mean, crime. I think we went through 75 COVID tests during the year. I mean, when you think about from middle of November, from the middle of November to right to to to, to last week, probably 75 to 80 COVID tests. And COVID tests during the national tournament, that's stressful. Even though. You, 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 you feel, gosh, I haven't been anywhere, but it doesn't matter. You cross somebody in the hall, you're, you see somebody, in, you know, somebody might be in the elevator, um, whatever. It's just, uh, so there's a lot, there, there's, a, there's been a lot of moving parts of this season and hockey's only been a part of it. And what these kids have accomplished and what they've done is remarkable. And then obviously having a success on the ice, we couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, it ended, obviously, we wanted to go to the Frozen Four. We felt that, we really felt when we beat Wisconsin, we were going to move on. I did, and the players did. I'm sure the fans did. And uh, it didn't happen. We got, you know, we, we lost to a, a darn good uh, UMass team who, again, who was just dialed in. And, um, but uh, these guys accomplished a lot. And what I'm, more, what I'm most proud of our guys is that last year, we would have been in the, in the NCAA tournament. And uh, they validated last year, this year. I think that's important to make sure that um, those guys, that, that, that's not easy. Getting in this tournament isn't easy. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a junior, senior. Our seniors who are, uh, who are gone, maybe some will be coming back, but it doesn't matter. That experience is going to help them in life. Like, any, like these experiences carry over. Sports is sports, but th these experiences that you have carry over in everyday life and decisions you make and, you know, and, 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 like how, how, how difficult day-to-day day, day decisions can be sometimes. So they're going to draw back from this experience of um, losing to Lake Superior State, you know, beating Mankato at the end of the year, you know, beating Wisconsin, losing to UMass. You know, you, you learn just as much from a loss as you do a win as well. So these are great experiences, Schultz, uh, for everybody, for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's a coach, if it's a, if it's a trainer, if it's the equipment manager, if it's a freshman or sophomore, a junior or senior. It's good for everybody. From a hockey perspective, coming back next year, it's going to be great for everybody. Those juniors, our juniors haven't played. Yeah, they play junior hockey in, in big games. I understand that. But every level, every, every level has different challenges. So everybody benefits from this. I, I think the cohesiveness of our group, uh, from the coaching staff all the way to the players, everybody, that the whole collective group, I think there's a, a, a strong bond and a strong cohesiveness. And a lot of it's because of, um, we got something taken away in the middle of March last year, abruptly ended our season, and we carried it over into this year. And it was just, it was a grind a lot of times. There was pauses, there were stoppages. Um, there was, a, like I said, there was, there, was, there was COVID tests. There was just a lot of different moving parts. And again, for everybody, not just the Beavers. But for the Beavers, I think that probably, um, you look back at it, and, and uh, we, we accomplished a lot. And of course, then at that, that Wisconsin victory, um, I mean, that Wisconsin victory, we played well. Uh, we, 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 uh, we won that game, um, decisively. And I think that, that, you know, what, with 40 shots and six goals and, 
everything else. It, it was a good victory. It was a great victory for our program, for the league. Um, and that's it, that to me tells you what college hockey is about right there. That any, you know what, there's a small, and I say it all the time. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a small margin of error. And that's the beauty of our sport. And when you reflect back on things, we went to the elite eight that, that we accomplished a lot, Austin. And I'm proud of the, proud of the players for that. And, happy for the community and so happy for our alumni, which is so important. It's, uh, it's so important for the fabric of our program.